after working in Mexico City, I, I came back to San Miguel, and I had a piece of land out in the country. And during the time, <clears throat> while I was in Mexico City, there was a, an agri there was a, a problem with the hitos, which, which has been in this country for a long time. And they took away my piece of land for seven years. And I, for me, it was all I had because I worked very hard uh, in those days. Water wells cost forty thousand dollars. I had the water well. I had the fence up. Very simple. And I was going to be a farmer because I always wanted to be a farmer. And so I lost everything. So Papa Miguel told me if I knock on doors and not not give them money, I could take them to lunch. I could make them some cookies. I could give them some something that I made and get just get in and be, get in with the different people and knock on the doors and knock on the doors and say, hey, what's what's going on with my case? And so I worked for a lady in the countryside when I came back from Mexico City. And so every week I would go to the governor's office here. And he would never see me, but his secretary would see me. And sometimes he could see me, sometimes he couldn't. And long story short, it took a whole year each time to get the, everything together. And I also had my next door neighbor, she would go with me a lot. And took a whole year to get all the papers, all the people to come. They bring the federal police, they bring everybody, the lawyers, everybody would come to kick the rancheros off. And then the next day they would be back again. So this went on for four years. And the last time the person helping me said, forgive them because they think they're doing right and you think you're doing right. Be bigger than them and make an agreement with them. And we were able to. My land was like <clears throat> 40, 35 hectares. We're talking about 15,000 hectares. And I got mine back first because I was just there all the time, mm -hmm. all the time. And so afterwards, when we, I got the land back, um, a person from the Estado Mayor, the police called me and said, a Senor Miguel wants to talk to you and I, when you can. And I said, fine, I'll, I'll meet him at a certain time and this and that. And he said, Patsy, how did you get your land back? I never helped you. But congratulations. And so anyway, he told Carlos Salinas and Carlos changed the law in 1991 that this doesn't happen to the people like it happened before.